What's up guys, welcome to your 8th WX tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to build a real small program with all the tools that we learned so far. Now I already taught you guys how to build a basic um, program to get uh, like data from a user like their name or something and I told you guys how to output text on the screen so how would we combine those two to get input from the user and then com or output it on the screen? Well what we would do is this the first thing we need to build is our way to get input from the user so you already know how to do this so let me uh, just refresh your memory set something equal to text entry dialog I'm gonna set it uh, equal to test you can write anything you want wx dot text entry dialog spell everything right close enough the parent equals none and then you write a question like what's your name and then after this you write the title uh, I'm just gonna write title and then write the default text you want to appear say um, let's write enter name uh, then they have a little space to know they're enter their name next you go ahead and write just like we did before if test dot show modal is exactly equal to the WX ID underscore OK and remember whenever um, we get this box is going to say OK and cancel if they click OK that's pretty much what this line means then let's get a variable called apples and we want to set equal to test or whatever you have up here dot get value so pretty much we made a box up here that says enter your name then we say if they enter something then click OK we're going to store that value in apples. So now we have that value in apples. Let me show you guys what we have so far. We have what's your name, enter name, Bucky, okay, but then nothing happens in our frame window. So now we got to tell um, Python to get that data that's in apples and output it to our frame. So let's go ahead and do that. And how we do this is write wx static text and then we write the parent which is panel of course and the ID is negative one and instead of just writing text like text here what we would do is just go ahead and write that variable called apples right there and then just go ahead and position it somewhere 10 10 and now instead of having nothing on our frame we say alright take that variable whatever values in that variable apples and output it to our frame so let's go ahead and run this save it of course what is your name Bucky okay Bucky right there in our frame bam bam wham thank you ma'am it's working perfect so let me explain to you guys one last time what we just did this is a pretty much just a text entry dialog like we did before just a box that is pretty much like a user prompt that lets a user enter some information um, the question was what's your name titles title the default was enter name if they clicked OK then we want to store that value in the variable apples and then what we did is pretty much just make a plain uh, frame and with just whatever value it was in there and again this is just a parent ID variable and position so um, that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to check out my other tutorials after this so thank you don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time